All right, we are live, and by this point, everyone's lost interest, including me. Uh, but seriously, some of you uh, saw a video I did earlier this evening, several hours ago at PetSmart, there for some supplies, and of course looked at the fish. I first went by and looked at the rainbows, and one tank was labeled Madagascar, and I have those fish and don't want any more, don't need any more. Hey, William Pridemore. Uh, so I didn't even look in the tank. I uh, did my shopping and walked back over um, and, uh, of course, did some impulse shopping. But I looked in the tank uh, at that point and saw that the fish were not Madagascar rainbow fish after all and uh, talked to the young lady. And uh, she said, I told her they weren't, and I showed her the difference in the picture they had up um, and the fish in the tank, and there were only three left at that point. And I said, if I can have them for that price, they were eight ninety nine. dollars um, you know, I will take them, but they're not. Uh, hey, Rack, just trying to finish up uh, this uh, fish haul from today. Um, it's gone on a lot longer than I wanted it to, but uh, these are mystery rainbow fish uh, that were for sale at PetSmart and mislabeled. And so she called the manager and he went through their book, their binders, to see if they had anything, uh, had a um, label for these fish so he could charge me. I told him they would definitely cost more than what they were charging for them. Hey, Kenny, um, winding it up over here. It is late, yeah, it's about 1.15. Anyway, uh, so after much ado, they couldn't find anything else to call them. And what I think they are, this is my, my new rainbow tank, which is still under quarantine. Um, and I've got some updates to do on it. But these guys have been acclimating and acclimatizing for some time. Uh, not the best lighting here. Uh, but it is better than the little teaser video that I put on uh, Instagram a couple hours ago. Hey, Griffin. Uh, I think they're yellow rainbows, uh, but I really want someone that, uh, they're juvenile, so it's very hard to tell uh, at this size uh, and this lighting. And they were colored up quite a bit more, even though it's been like four or five hours. Um, but yeah, I think they're yellow rainbows. Um, all the other guys that I have in here, uh, my new yellows, which don't have any color on them at all yet, from Bob, and my, um, Bosmanis, and then my blue ones. I can never remember that generic name. There's one of them there, male. They're starting to get some blue to them. They're going to be stunning, stunning. But these guys came in very socialized from Bob. He must talk to his fish, uh, but they recognize that I'm the person that's going to take care of them immediately. Uh, so they're going to go in with these guys. Everybody in here looks great. These guys look great. I don't recommend this at home. Uh, hey, Sandy. Finally getting these mystery rainbows over, and I think that they are yellow rainbows. Um, they're definitely not Australian. I've got a tank of those in the other room. Um, but anyway, maybe somebody like a Bentley Pasco or a Lucas Bretz. Uh Hey, Chewy, what's your feeling about them? I think they're yellows. Or um, who else? Bob Steenfot. Uh, but yeah. I don't know, but what I am going to do is, this is like 90% their water at this, uh, my water at this point, because <laughs> I've, uh, I'm going to pour out some of this water, and you don't need to see that, and I'm just going to try to keep that camera steady right there. Never did get that, um, gimbal. Never did get it. Think about, well, I did look a couple places for them, but I didn't see what I liked or what I wanted. So I may have to do like Ed and Chris and James and go on Amazon. I did take some notes and save some links from Chris's uh, stream about a week ago about that. So we shall see. 
No, they're not Madagascars. I've got Madagascars, and they look nothing like the picture of the Madagascars that they sell there, so. No, I knew they weren't, and that's why I wanted them, because I think they're yellows. And I think I paid, uh, Bob had them on sale, actually. Had a great price to start with, and I can't remember those prices. They were 21 or 19 or, hey, Diego, welcome. Uh, there's one of them right there, the yellowish one. Uh, the other two I've lost track of already. Uh, but then Bob's price, you know, when you get the group goes on down. So I've got six of those. Yeah, those are rainbows. Hey, Jason. Finally letting some little rainbows loose, That uh, those that I got at PetSmart. Well, I don't know that they're not, Chibi. I told you that uh, they weren't Madagascar rainbows, so... Yeah, Jason, you keep saying you like this tank. I'm about finished once I get the background. I've already got it cut, measured and cut, stuck on the back and some height right there behind those rocks. Uh, I did drop an air stone, as y'all can see, and people kept telling me to do that. Now, um, I've got a couple plants and I'm gonna save that for a video for the next day or two, but I'm bad about letting cultured plants lay around too long, so. I want to get that taken care of. Hey, Recon. Um, is there, let me see what Dan said there. Is there a white striping on the fin tip? Which fin? The dorsal? I'll have to find one of them again or go back and look at the video. Well, they mixed right in there, didn't they? I'm trying to wait to see what Dan says there, because it'll scroll away. It'll jump on me, as people like to say. Okay, there's one of them that, for sure, right there. I'm glad to be out. And that one did not have white on it. There's, yeah, they do have white. Yeah, that one does, if you're talking about the dorsal. And usually you only see that in Madagascar. But they're not Madagascars. Look at their dorsal fins and their caudal fins, and they don't go anywhere near. Um, yeah, but the fins don't go anywhere near their tail fin. And look at your Madagascars. They don't have enough fin there. They're missing about a quarter of an inch of fin uh, on both fins. They're built like the other rainbows. You know, Madagascar's fins go back from the time they're small. They go back and touch their tails. Okay. Well, what do you think, Dan? Yep, I hadn't noticed that, but of course I've just let them out and try to find another one and look at it. Okay, that one has it, but not as, it's colored a little different than the other two. That's probably the male in the group. Uh, these blues are gonna just be gorgeous. And of course there are six yellows that have only been in here two days. That blue there is just gonna be out of this world. Hey, Mandy. All we're doing is look at rainbows and trying to figure out what they are. There's one there. Yeah, they're not Madagascars, but what the heck are they? Chewy's been Googling, let's see. Yes, always go ahead and treat the whole tank with it. Always velvet, anything like that. Hey, Ginger. Yeah, go ahead, Benny's World, and, and treat the whole tank, because if you don't, one by one, they'll come down with it. 
it's better just to be done with it. But I would, you were smart to move the one out though, treat it separate. Yeah, I know, and I've never had uh, good luck with red plants at all, but look at these guys here. They've been in there, I guess, two weeks now. Look at all the little sprouts coming off of them. I think it's Father Fish's substrate. I've got just plain clay cat litter on the bottom, and then uh, potting soil. Hey, Candy. And uh, I went ahead and went live with Corey still going live. I knew he wouldn't care. A little tiny channel. No one would leave there anyway. Hey, Maria. Uh, but yeah. So Chewy and Dan. No one else want to... Got some rainbows that we're not sure what they are, Ginger. Yeah, well, I'm going to be getting some sleep soon. It says it's 125 here, so... I sleep from three to 10, three to nine, I'm good. Hey, Funk, maybe they're what abomination that came from crossing Tetra and Cricket's DNA. Funk, you need to stop. He's all caught up in all that uh, DNA stuff. You need to quit worrying about all that. They could be a hybrid though, no joke. You know, but I doubt it coming from a wholesaler. Bubble Vision. Yeah, they've closed the schools, the colleges, everything here now until at least. Uh, no, if Bob's in here, uh, this phone won't tell me if he is, and I don't dare try to do the at Steamfoot or anything like that. Uh, if he were in here, he'd speak up probably and tell me. Maybe he'll watch the vid and comment on it. Uh, Bentley, um, Dan, you know, saw the white line on the dorsal, but. Uh, their finish doesn't look anything other than that. There's the one of them that looks different right there. And so I'm guessing that one's going to turn out to be the boy. It's like a needle in a haystack in here. So this tank is stocked. <laughs> and I mean stocked. You guys know that I love to uh, stock heavily. And is Teresa there too? Yeah, I showed him a picture of um, the uh, store manager. He was a young guy. Of course, he could have been keeping fish 20 years. But uh, I showed him a picture of what the adults look like and didn't think about Googling juveniles. But I said, you know, you can see, thank you, Candy, you can see those fish if they were colored, that that is the fish. Um, so we'll see. Boy, that guy's colored up back there. Coming, looking over the rock back there. These fish are so young and they're so small. I need to do a little video. People keep asking about the pea puffers. They're doing okay and they're in with that koi beta. Where's little bitch? She's in here. Look at even rainbows up here. Gonna have to do a head count. I'm gonna drop a sponge filter where that air stone is there, or maybe both have, have the stone and the filter. Yep, Funk's the night owl for sure. I say you can't get comfortable on the floor out there in the living room. Hey, natural aquariums, welcome. Oh, look at the color on that guy. Oh, I bet they love that. I bet they love that. But yeah, I'm gonna be just in a couple of, uh... thanks natural. Or do you know your rainbows? We're trying to ID some rainbows here, so. Um, I'm trying to just feed my fish uh, non-frozen or non-live foods at night. I do feed them twice a day, every fish, every day. Uh, geez, have you ever tried to unscrew a... Hey, dragon. 
Yeah, I'm trying to, uh, sorry, I'm pouring. I'll show you what I'm giving them, what this tank's getting, and they're gonna get a couple things to go down bottom so the catfish get sure. And I did get this from Candy's employer. They have a good price on it. The shipping comes next day or two days. So it's the Sarah treat mix. Whoa, almost spilled it. And that's what I'm gonna start giving them and they'll do away with that post haste. I'm gonna put it here in the current, about half of it, well actually about three fourths of it. It's a lot of food, but which these guys will eat uh, frozen and love it. But I figured out right away, Bob had been feeding them. Um, well, they are back at the start of the vid. Uh, they're loose in here now, but I think they're yellows. Um, but they were labeled, thank you, Candy. Um, this is really good stuff too. I don't want to do a commercial for them. It, it's got free dries, freeze dried uh, food animals. It's got trace elements, um, but it tells you all the stuff it doesn't have like dyes and that kind of stuff in it. So it really is good stuff. All my fish like this, even the saltwater fish, what we, you'll see if, uh, yeah, they're coloring up and there's one of the fire in the waters, the back there under, that's one of those little tidal 35s. It's not very strong and it doesn't have an intake uh, thing that sticks down. And I like that on some of my tanks. Don't have to try and hide it. But yeah, sponge filters going in here in addition to uh, keeping the... Oh, you haven't used this again? This stuff's awesome. It even smells good. Um, I don't know how to describe it. It's like a musty, musky, uh, but not a bad musky. So I'm sure they're enjoying the smell of it too. Catfish love it. Yeah, and these guys can eat uh, bug bites like the small pellets, but I'm sure their little mouths are tender yet little emerald quarry that I wasn't too sure about. Yeah, I've got those two. They're in the bedroom in there, but I never have really trained my fish to the sword tails. There's a million sword tails. They like them. Um, but I really never have used them consistently. So, yeah. Let me see where we're at there now. And I think I mentioned I was going to do a uh, species spotlight, and so I YouTubed the Cory Elegans, Elegant, Elegant Elegans. I can't say the elegant correctly, Elegans. No, they're from PetSmart. <laughs> I got them, I uh, did a PetSmart video. I stumbled on them. They were labeled Madagascar, so I didn't even look at them, Candy came back later after I'd done some impulse shopping, which I'm about to show you guys, and uh, saw that they weren't. And they were eight ninety nine. Of course, their rainbows are, they had some beautiful turquoise, but I have turquoise in the other room, so. You can only get so many. But yeah, those Corydoras ele elegans that's that guy there and i have two more and dan dan's fish did a video about a year ago i was going to say on youtube his popped right up so i watched his video uh, and then i had commented on it of course and said i have several of those um but it's the one on the right the big quarry so they're probably coming up on two years old now i was down to three i did have five in that tank uh, but that's a female there. Dan, you can color, you can sex these quarries by their color and by the their pattern. And I did not know that. And I learned that from watching Dan's video. Uh, there are two more back there. And I think one is a male and one's a female. 
but I want to do a little series thing on them. There were a couple things that Dan didn't mention about them that are pretty cool about these fish that I've noticed from keeping them. Uh, why are y'all cuckoo birds up so ding dong late? Because they love me, Funk. They love me. And they feel bad for me that I was gonna have to go through all that spooning and all that stuff, so this is therapeutic. Hey, rabbit. Thank you for stopping in, Heath. What time of day is it over there, Heath? Two legs. Oh, Funk, I thought you were gonna come back with something. Disappoint me. You disappoint me. Got some side lighting over here, which is an old dusty lamp, really dusty lamp. I had to set back up. Okay, right, there he is. What are you doing up this late, fool? It's the same time there it is here. What are you talking about? And it's earlier for like candy. It's like three hours earlier or two hours earlier. See, take a lesson. Oh, the dogs are barking in there. I must have done something wrong or forgot to do. Oh, they just had a walk and they didn't get their treat. There's the Parkinson eye. He's starting to get really pretty with the orange. Ah, okay. Yeah. All right, well, while I was at um, while I was at the PetSmart, I started looking at their Glow Beta um, display, and it wasn't nearly as elaborate. They had the light and all that, but about a third the stock. It was just a lot smaller display than Petco's and the other stuff to sell you. I could be resting that camera. But anyway, I started looking and Googling and trying to figure out what the difference in a standard male glowfish beta were and a um, premium. And the only difference is that the premium's $10 more and probably two months older. So in the spirit of reconciliation, I went ahead and picked up, and I'll take care of it for you, Funk. I went ahead and picked up Funk, a standard male It'll focus, it's going to focus on that plastic. So, hey Pam. So there he is. And I've had him floating in here in his water. And uh, the little glow, who's not so little now, she was this size, I guess, a couple weeks ago when I got her, but she's not tiny anymore. She's quite a bit bigger than him. Here is that little heifer. She's in here and she's a good eater, so I don't know where she's at. But she's been over uh, all blowing up at him and like she was going to give him grief. And uh, I assume they know how to sex them, but it won't be any trouble at all to tell them apart. Pam, that really sucks about your tank. You know, I know all too well how that goes. Just had that happen. Well, I guess it's been three or four months now, but it sucks. All right, where are you at, little fella? So, Funk, you can name him too. I'm even gonna let you name him. It's gotta be something nice. Almost there. Uh, Got to let the plants grow in and add some height. And so, would you be able to sell to sell no betas and normal betas cross? I guess you could, but I don't want to sell them. I want to keep them. Um, I don't know where she's at. That worries me, because she's always visible. Sorry, there's my mess. 
Still got to get that big wave maker out of there. It's not going to be used. Actually, I've used it almost every day. I haven't today to like stir the tank for a couple of minutes. But now that I have the air stone, there she goes. There she is. Girl, come on, you're not afraid of anything. Did she just go inside that wave maker? I guess so. Alrighty. Well, this might be an opportune time to get him out. I'm gonna literally pour every drop of his water out and then drop him in here. There he goes. And besides being floating in here for the last few hours, she found her something to eat in there. Smart girl. She's still working in there. She's not finished. There she goes back. So there he is back there. He's a lot smaller than her. He doesn't have any red on him. He's just solid yellow. I thought he was dead when I first walked up, but you know, you see him like that and he literally was laying on his side, but That's what I would think too. Mine did that too, Pam. I heard it snap, but I wasn't sure what it was and I didn't pay any attention to it. I thought the dog said something. And then I heard a different water flow and I got up and looked around the room and didn't see anything. And I sat back down and I'm like, no, that, mm -mm, that's not right. Something's different. And then I saw it. Yours emptied a lot quicker than mine did. I had time to get a bucket, which then broke. Oh, wow. All right, let's see if we can find. All right, there's one of the fish. Who was asking? Dragon layer, that one that's in right there. Sorry for the jerky camera, but no gimbal. Can't slow down long enough to get one. It's that fish right there. Let's see if I can get us, oh yeah. There's another one. It's those two there, and see they're hanging together, so they know, they know that they're the same uh, fish, I guess, the same rainbow. You can see it's got the white on the dorsal, but the problem with that is that it's dorsal and caudal fin are like the other rainbows. It doesn't go all the way back to its tail fin. So you could tell immediately. Plus they don't have Madagascar colors and stripes and lines and all that. So I don't know what they are. They may not be yellows. I know they're pretty. Dragon Lair, are you there? I'm trying to do this so you or natural or anybody else that can hazard a educated guess. You can see why I thought they were yellows, but there's the other two or the other one. Gonna say, I don't know, which would be okay. They'd probably be real pretty, but they're a little small yet. To, they could have came out of the uh, Madagascar tub, you know. The third one, 
Okay, there's the two of them together. Almost together. The third one doesn't look like them so much. But it does have the white. I'm thinking that's going to be the male if they are a species into themselves. Nope, he lost me. Oh well. Well, I had to go to Petco then. Now, this was at PetSmart, so I went down the hill across the street to Petco and uh, to visit the big um, $300, <laughs> $299 um, northern blue tongue skink they have there, and he was napping. I worry about him. Uh, he's got plenty of space, and they seem to be taking great care of him. I see him eat. I see him shed, but what the heck is that rainbow? It stands out now that they've colored up. I won't rest till I know. I don't know. I don't think they're yellow. Quick announcement. Do not mention the current illness, Glenna. Well, somebody needs to tell Corey uh, Funk because he was saying it all up and down in his stream and I even said, oops, he said it and there he said it again. There's the one that, so I don't know. Yeah, Pam said, yeah, there she is saying it. So I don't know, he was saying it and usually he's on top of that game, you know, he knows. Cause you know, think about the money on a single live stream. You would think he would know and he would not do that if it were true. All right, so anyway, I went down to Petco. I gotta wind this up. This is 32 minutes, guys. And I had to have a green beta. I do not know why. So you can't really see the colors here on this guy, but it's a dragon scale male and they had it in the double tails. Uh, it's not gonna be able to show its real colors there. Oh yeah, Maria, it is unbelievable. This one's gonna be in the bedroom in there with me. I think it's gonna go in that 20 gallon. Yeah, they had to uh, see, look at his green. Now you can see, but it's a dragon scale. See how big his scales are. I know, right, Pam? But the color on him, I'll have to get him under some decent light. You can really look at him. What? Call who, Jeffy? Uh, that little glow beta? Hey, Josh, welcome. We're naming, uh, Funk's naming his new glowfish that's gonna be here with me. And then this is not a glowfish, obviously. Yeah, it's the, uh, I took that lid off. It might help the color. I don't know what color that, how bad that light is. It's under. Let me see if I can get the lid off without flipping the container over. Yeah, that might have helped a little bit. It's just really poor lighting. Dylan, but Jeffy is fun to say. Well, if you'll act right, if you'll straighten up, I'll let you name both of them. We can use both names. So you want Jeffy to be the little glow beta and then this one, Dylan. I can't believe I'm letting Funk name my fish. Yep, look at that, look at that. I may be in too close to. They had a little dead one, you know how they had that baby boy and baby girl. All right, sounds good, Funk. Oh, all day long candy. I don't even bring that up anymore, you know, whatever. He ain't won me over. I told him as long as he's good, but 
I don't know how he is. No, it ain't nothing about how you do. It's that I'm trying to give you another chance. So, just one. We see you, Funk. All right, Dylan, that's actually a good name for you. I bet you're hungry too, huh? Yep, I heard that, Raycon. Let's see if he's hungry. Look at that, he said, oh, hell yeah. Funk don't need any encouragement. Go on up there and eat it. Yeah, they had this same color, maybe a little darker. He does have some uh, other hues mixed in with the green, but they had it in a double tail. And that's a lot of tail on these little fish. So I decided to get the standard. Oh, that's the wrong dam. Where's my lid, sorry. Dragon scale male, but I don't know what kind of tail he has. That's a half moon. Who knows betas better than me, anybody here? Look at that. Sir Reginald. You and Funk can duke that out. I have a feeling he's not a young fish, but he's not old, old either now. Look at that green. A rose tail. I think you're right. I wish they had put it on here. I'm gonna go back and look at the label. It won't even eat that. It's pro they probably been giving it that little beta food, those little granules. Uh, Father Fish said that they couldn't digest pellets. Really? Uh, usually they'll eat this. Let's see what's going on up here. Hang on. All right, that's Glow. Cause she's big and got red on her. She's over there in those weeds stalking. What's his name? Jeffy. Jeffy, yeah, she's over there looking for Jeffy. She's looking at me like, go on about your business. I'd like to get him in the frame with her. She is really, well, I can get him something else. She's laying up there, I think, on that plant. No, she's not. Yeah, and that's when your card screwed up. I've had that exact thing happen, Pam. Yep. And if it's suspicious cramp, She's got her a secret about that. I'll have to make sure when I pull that out that she's not in there because she's going down in there. She just ate a, something there. Yeah, I know. I feed mine the little bug bite pellets, but Father Fish said not to give pellets. Look at her go down in there. I bet there's food in there. It falls in there and the other fish are not smart enough or, or they're too afraid to get in there. She's not. Yep, it'll take, you know, several days to get it, but at least you can get money out. He didn't seem to care for that. Oh, did that, was that my camera that locked up or did the screen lock up? Yeah, they are. They're really amazing fish. See, we didn't have betas back in the day. Uh, when I was a kid, we didn't have them. I mean, a little kid when I was seven, eight, nine. We, uh... Oh, really?
Chunk, he's like you, he's got a big mouth. See his mouth? I mean that in a complimentary way. <laughs> Dylan, oh, I see where you got the Dylan from. Those pieces of flakes are falling down now. But he doesn't want them. About that lake. Nope, he doesn't know what that is. These guys have eaten all their food. Now there's uh, Jeffy. Little bitty Jeffy, here she comes. Girl, you better get down there and check on that man. She was trying to get him when he was floating in there. I've got those two little, uh, and they are little, they're two and a half gallon. There, I got them both in the frame now, I think. There he goes back to that filter, and she's over there. You can see the size difference though. Thanks, Candy. That's what she said. That's a good number, Pam, and space it out like every 45 minutes or something like that. Yeah, that's a good idea. Should have started to say something. Oh well. I still have every other tank to feed in the house except this one. But I wanted to see, she's going back down in that again. She's got a stash in there or something. That's where she's keeping her drugs. Something going on. Yeah, I don't want to get started on that viral stuff, but this is about to get really, really bad, guys. I've already got my freezer full of all the stuff that I can hoard for the fish and myself. So tomorrow, anything, any kind of canned meat, um, I'm going to get that. I follow a guy that claims to have an ant that works, you know, you know how that is. The works for the Pentagon, does this and does that. But the couple of things that he said that he was told have happened. Um, but anyway, he's saying that since yesterday, this morning, they're saying uh, there was a memo that says in a week or so, they're gonna go ahead and <clears throat> do what Italy did and have people stay at home. And you can't be in any public places like supermarkets or malls or any place like that where there are large numbers. See you, Dylan. And once they do that, they'll take all the food out of the supermarkets. So, I don't know. I guess she's cranking out enough cards that she can give them away. Yeah, well, the schools are closed here. That's not a, I mean, think about it. Those are young people generally at school. Of course, the people that shut them down. What is a prepper? I keep hearing that and I never have bothered.
See you, Recon. Get some rest. Yeah, I'm gonna, I wonder, and we were talking about that in John and Lisa's stream earlier, it came up and we just today, we have a contingency plan already for, you know, like snow or tornado or something like that. Um, we have too many pets right now to like bring them home with us, but of course we'll manage that if we're not able to travel back and forth. Uh, but we don't want to do that. We want to be able to keep them there. We'll definitely close the doors for adoptions and stuff like that. But Yeah, awesome. That's cool. I'm going to get up for a moment. And I hope you don't get gnarly reflections. But if you do, you do. chance in the world to get a gimbal and didn't steal. It's not going to be there long. I'm just trying to get him some without going on a search, trying to find him some food that he can actually, there we go, that he can actually eat. Shoelaces be a long time. Right, now then, I'm crumbling up a uh, cichlid sized bug bite to little pieces. It seems like he likes that idea. Oh yeah. Yep, he's already tearing that up. I love it too. Yeah, I just wonder what gasoline's gonna do price wise. since none of it's from here. Is there a common name for those uh, total tropicals? It's cheap here too, Sandy. I paid a dollar eighty-six for per gallon, but that's kind of unusual for it to go that low. It doesn't often, or doesn't stay very long. Let's see if I can get you guys a couple more crumbles going. They got that taken care of. I know Ginger's taking notes. She's like, ah, a rainbow I don't have. She probably does. I bet Ginger's got them. What are they, Ginger?
Well, guys, I know it sounds bad. Last night I was watching YouTube and somehow it got on all these different places that uh, some reporter was going and doing like what it's like to live there and, you know, and did it from a child's perspective. And some of these kids, they only can change clothes once a week and they get those from a church uh, shelter. Um, they have to dig for garbage like 20 hours and go through garbage to recycle plastic and stuff just to eat. It's, it's really, really bad. And their kids, that's what's horrific about it, their kids. So, I don't know. Oops, I dropped a big piece in there. No doubt the Corys will be glad for that. It's not, there it goes. There it goes. Notice most rainbows won't spend a lot of time. That's what you said like four hours ago, ma'am. Me too. Hell, you're older than I am. What about four or five months? Yeah, exactly, Teresa. These people have no running water. They have no electricity. They live in cardboard boxes. I mean, it's just crazy. But yeah, we've got our own set of problems here for sure. In one place, I don't remember where it was. I don't know why I'm talking about this shit anyway. Um, families would sell, when a little girl got to be six, they could sell her to a brothel for 300 American dollars. Fuck. How do you figure that? Oh, do they, I guess they do sell gas by the liter there. 88 cents a liter. So there are two liters in a gallon or four. I can never remember. I don't know. That sounds like a good idea, Pam. Make me one too, please. This fish are slowing down a little, so. Maybe this will hold them. 44 on Sunday. She's 41 and her daddy still calls her baby. Everyone in Brownsville. I sing about like Nathan. God love him. He's like me. He would say, though, he was singing the other night when we were thinking of old songs. And he would sing them. <laughs> I can relate. Delta Dawn. So, Funk, you'll be Delta Dawn. I'm glad you told me that. She's 41 and her daddy still called her baby. She walked downtown with a suitcase. Hey, Nathan, I was hoping you were still listening. That's right, Dragon uh, Lair is 70. I think he's the oldest, isn't he? Uh, because uh, Dwayne Kitchell's a couple months younger, than, or one month younger than me, and Punchy, you're a little bit older than me. Not much, but a little bit. Just realize, oh no, you can't see that glare, I guess. I don't know. Oh, he has no respect, Teresa, for his for himself. That's the problem. So how can he's gonna respect his elders? Yep, in July, is it Pam? It's right around the corner.
opposite of a leap year, so you'll be an extra day older or something like that. There's Chewy with this June. Okay, I know it was summer. Same here, Nathan, same here. I think I told y'all in the chat the other night that when I was little, I used to sing in their school choir, elementary choir, and we loved to go around and do singing engagements. You know, little kids, fourth grade, fifth grade, I don't know. And we sang at Trinity, is it Trinity Methodist? I don't know, one of the big churches downtown. And after that, the music teacher, instructor, I can't remember her name, she's a mean old goat. She took me aside and said that they didn't want me singing in the choir anymore. And I said, and she told me I couldn't sing. Hey, Nathan. Um, so then I went back, you know, well, you wouldn't know that, but I'm usually trying to find a, a way. And I said, what if I just move my mouth? And she said, they'd already fill my slot. No room. That was traumatic as I thought I could sing. Whatever, whatever. All right, those Corys look like they wanted a little bit of, there they go. I know, right, Maria? And my mother just laughed about it. Whatever, I was upset. hanging out over there still. Oh, he's in the back and she's in the front. She seems to be oblivious to him. Or maybe that's kind of her hangout and she's staying there and we'll turn that light off. There we go. John, you're just getting up, right? They must not know it's cichlid formula. Drop in price? Hmm, I don't know. All right, guys, this is the last call. Yeah, that's what I was saying earlier, Ginger. I didn't even turn it on today, uh, or probably yesterday. Since I've had that, I'm going to put a sponge filter in here but figure out how I'm going to hide it. I think it'll be behind the rocks now that they like that as a hiding spot. Good night, Maria. Thanks for hanging out with us. Thanks for your help with Funk. Oh, look at Funk, night, night. It's gonna be nice now. Let him name a beta. Two betas. I bet I live to regret that. Maybe not. That lamp's in the way. She was eating the, see her eating the flake food? 
she went away, but there she comes back. Where the hell is she? Oh, she's eating that flake food. That's what I was saying. My betas all eat flake food. See her up there getting it. Somebody needs to clean this glass. I ain't letting him even see my dogs. Are you kidding? Oh, I knew you were saying it to her. That's what I said. Look at him. I'm trying to be nice now. Not not. Oh. My dogs are having a fit. I really do like that footprint. I'm so glad I got that tank, and I'll be so glad when it's finished out in a couple of days now. All right, guys. Here we go. are hungry, aren't you? Uh-oh, spooked him. I keep thinking I'm going to get in there and do something with those plastic plants, but I haven't done it. Kind of looking for the little three that went in here from Steampot that came with the rainbows. They've been, there they go. They're all hid. There's two of them. I don't see the third one, but it's not far. Those little guys are the, those guys. Funk, you know I never was going to the ALA, don't you? Or did you figure that out? 45. 45 is a great age. That would be 19 years younger for me. That would have been about the time I moved about this house. Or had just moved in this house. Uh, but Frank, you know I never was, never was going anywhere near Florida. Father Fish and I are going to switch out. He wants to come to Tennessee. So I'm gonna let him come up and do all this for a while. And I'm gonna go down there for a while. Uh, Fox face has already gone to bed. Char, Char, named after Diva. He's so happy, look at him when he eats. Or she, we made it a she, that's right. And Linus, that he was beating up on, they're big buddies now. Puffers are the aquatic hummingbirds.
Dark Side of the Moon tour. Remember that. And you see these are saltwater fish and once again that's what they're eating night sandy i'm going too i'm feeding fish i'm working my way i keep working my way back to you baby boy that was really bad the burning of inside Yeah, that, that is, that squirrel fish is cray cray. Uh, Y'all know Zach, uh, I know, right, Zen Jinder, play some music to drown that out. Y'all know Zach, the crazy aquarium guy? I'd be surprised if some of you don't. He hasn't been as active lately because of his work. He's a chef. Uh, but I saw a video, that's how far behind I am, uh, that was three weeks old. Yeah, Candy, I know you know Zach. He's got some gorgeous tank, and he's got a really nice collection of fish, and his tanks are immaculate. Way too much work for me, but... Miss Sunshine died. Did you know that, Candy? That's kind of what inspired me to get a Fajaca. Yep. Well, he's putting videos out, just not as uh, often. I mean, I'm sub to him, and but yeah, Miss Sunshine died. He did a video about it three weeks ago, and I just saw it today. It was so sad. You could tell he had been crying, and yep, Sweden or somewhere. But she was, bless her heart, the fish. She was uh, laying upside down, and she was gotten pretty big those dogs are getting on my nerves and uh, she had a big knot on her belly I don't know if that's what caused it he wasn't sure he hadn't seen that before and he had fed her the night before a guy named Zach the crazy aquarium guy oh I just broke my algae scraper thing. That's what happens when things fall on the floor and you walk on them. That puffer, that fugu puffer has never stopped eating since it got here. It can eat every fish in there under the table. Yeah, Zach. Thank you, Candy. I don't know how you do it, Candy. I, I mean, I'm just repeating what everybody else says, but I don't know how you do it. Don't know how you do it. It's scary. He is a real neat guy. He's got cool tattoos, too. He was doing really, really good in the fam, and he's a big, bigger channel. He did a lot of guppy breeding and uh, um, Sergeant Tibbs. Didn't we talk about that today? Tibby. Tibby. All right. Let me see what Funk had to say. I feel like doing some water changes. Uh-uh, I forgot you were listening to my singing. I don't want to get you started up on this, on utensils again. I never ever met anybody that had a thing for utensils. Chill, I'm at funk. All right. Hang on, here's some big boy foods. This stuff's actually made for you guys. Marketed for you guys. There you go. There you go. Uh, duh. 
No shit, Ginger. He's pretty good if I take a tone with him, but he's better than the other two, that's for sure. Chewie, you've got a couple of years on you, but you're younger than uh, him and me and uh, whatever. Dwayne, have you heard anything from Dwayne Candy? The last I heard was when he popped up in my live stream like a week ago. All right, Carrie, thank you. Good night. Funk, you wanna tell Carrie night night? The big um, catfish, the bigger one. Not Carrie has started harassing the smaller one. See, there they go. But the small one's good about staying out of the way. guys are pretty much pretty much finished in here this light is the weirdest thing you, you touch it you turn it off it won't turn off half the time. And this is that half of the time. Oh Lord. I don't want to forget to take uh, Dylan with me. There we go. Got it down to the blue. There we go. There we go. And the freaks come out at night. No, smells all that food in there. Probably a good thing, Sharpies. Well, I don't know what to tell you guys except be of good cheer because I'm fitting to go to bed. You are just so so cute, look at you. You were a fart the first night you came here. Yeah. Fighting, fighting and fighting. And it was all a show, you were just scared. It's turned out to be a great fish. What are the little puffers? There's one. Tank's so dirty I can't find them. There's one. Where are the other two? They like to hole up in those rocks. They've still got some pellets going around. Good night, Leah. Leah Jet. That was my Toby's middle name after my grandma's dog. Called him Toby Jet. Toby Jet. Some puffers. I'll be so glad to have an idea on those rainbows. Dan may know what they are too. Um, Dan's fish. I might have put a pellet or two too many in here. I usually don't feed them this light either. Oh, there's plenty of uh, inverts in here that'll be thrilled to get that stuff. It'll all be gone by morning, so I don't need to worry about it. 
Here's the crab's change of clothes. Keeps them in one spot. He's so funny. He goes over and tries them on. Well, missing puffers. How weird. It's not like anybody could bother them. All right, now I have no puffers. They're all under all those rocks. All right, guys. What did Candy say? I never can see the chat. Who's going live after Bob? We're always looking for the next stream. Good night, Funk. I'll take good care of you, Glow Beta. What's his name? Jeffy? Jeffy. TMI Dragon, but I gotta do the same run. Thanks, Sin. Thanks, Candy. I was trying to look to see what, who was laughing at Candy. Oh well. Can't find my hose clamps. Did you take them? Uh, why would I be needing hose clamps? Fun. I don't use no hose clamps. And I haven't been there. Don't be starting that. I do need to call Mida one day. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks for hanging out. It's been over an hour. Jeez. Good night, everybody. Thanks, Candy. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Mods. Thanks, friends. Y'all get some rest. I'm headed that way. Look at him. He's still eating. Still eating. Spitting it out. Funk, you can have that damn robe back. I mean, no, I didn't. I haven't been there. I gotta get out of here before he spills the beans. <laughs> 